Leo Borromeo and Timon Kalashinsky ready to go head to head in this best of 5 sets of first to 3 solves. Competitors will alternate starting solves and starting sets. Timon, with the faster median in the previous round, chose to start first. Timon coming off his best performance ever in Monkey League, looking to keep the speed up. And choosing to start first, interesting, now that he's adopted the Matty strategy of not looking at the opponent's time. He's going all in, but struggling in the beginning with a 727. Not very good look ahead from Timon. Not the, the fastest turning either. So Leo's gonna look to take advantage of this early slip up. And Leo's smoothly taking the first solve. You know, Leo hasn't been solving his best this season. He's been pretty inconsistent. But we saw what he could do in Season 2 Grand Finals, and he's the defending champion for a reason. Oh, and a very nice transition to Olo for Leo as he finishes smoothly a 552. And it was just a great F2L into a very fluid last layer, some nice cases. Timon will have to bring his best solving. Looks like Timon's struggling a little bit, but that was so efficient in a 522! Wow. He found something really nice on that, uh, that cross plus, plus F2L. Just finishing it so fluidly, making it look easy. The thing is, when, when you're as efficient as Timon can be, even these like these missteps in your turning, that's just the difference between a four and a low five. You know, it, it's still going to be a great solve even when he messes up. And that looks like a very nice cross plus two there from Timon in a beautiful last two pairs, but hesitating so much before that A per malg. Must have missed, messed up the recognition or something during OLL. Uh, didn't look like he started off the ALG the way he wanted to. I'm leaving the door open for Leo. One well, Leo's brilliant. Oh, leaving no doubt about it, a 532! Wow, Leo has really brought great solving today. He knows he needs it against Timon. He's bringing it full force. Another smooth solve by Leo, although I don't think that F2L was as fluid as he wanted it to be. And I think Timon will be able to find something really nice on this scramble. Oh, that huge lockup at the end of F2L, and he can't finish the ZB in time. As Leo takes the first set three to one. Yep. Oh, a very nice. Very nice double X cross by Leo. A fluid transition to the last layer. And a smooth finish to a 609. So Leo seems to have brought some top notch solving today. There's nothing else you can say about it. Just so smooth and, and making it look easy. But Timon's going to have to continue to find these efficient solutions and keep up the turn speed, avoid lockups, and make sure his look ahead is, is top notch. I mean, it's a lot to ask for. But that's what you need to beat the champ. Oh, that
that was so good by Timon. So quick, precise turns, avoiding lockups, and finding that efficient solution. And Timon's got this ability to just get a mid five, low five out of pretty much any scramble. And it's just a matter of if he can maintain his focus well enough during inspection and during the solve. There he did it beautifully. Well, that was an adventurous F2L by Timon, pausing a lot before that ZB. For Timon, it's the little errors, the little errors that he's trying to get rid of. He doesn't make many big errors, but that was certainly a little error. That, that big pause, those slight lockups during the F2L execution. Well, and this is very smooth from Leo. Perfect, just in time, and tying up the second set. Oh, that was such an efficient F2L! ZB took a little bit longer than he'd hoped, but still a 582. My goodness. Wow! Just in time! Team on with the 561. And you saw the F2L, I mean, the F2L yeah. straight to the, the soon, and that G perm just in time. I mean, that was, that was clutch as a, a solve as you will see. And Team on looking to make a comeback after he dropped that first set, and seems to have brought much better solving here in the second set as he tries to compete with the defending champ. And another brilliant cross plus two by Timon. Oh, and that PLL took way too long. That was a nice case, but... Yeah, just too many moves. It looked like an end perm. That's unfortunate. Still a 604, and I, and dare I say it's leaving the door open for Leo? It looks like they did the same solution, and Leo got a 566! I think that was the exact same solution! And this is a big solve. Will Leo take a 2-0 lead, or will Timon tie up the match? A crucial solve here, Leo starting. So efficient. But that last layer execution left a lot to be desired. He definitely had some nerves during the end of that solve, realizing how good the solution was, and just couldn't keep his composure, couldn't keep the shakes from messing up his execution, but still a 592. Just imagine what's possible on this scramble. And Timon couldn't get it done. Too many moves. As Leo taking the second set three to two. Brilliant F2L by Timon into a nice G perm and a 515. Thanks for the resolve, Leo. What a great solve. Incredible efficiency.
<laughs> and a PLL skip for Leo. And still his worst solve of the match thus far, taking a timeout. And Leo using all five minutes of his timeout, taking some time to uh, center himself, make sure his solves are fluid, efficient, his look ahead is looking good. And with a 2-0 lead in the match, looking to make the final run here and close out this match with a win, Timon has been warming up and will look to make the comeback. Locky, locky solve for Leo. Struggling with look ahead, turning, everything really. And Timon's locking up as well. And he couldn't beat the 729! He couldn't beat it. Every every turn was a lockup. And Leo <laughs> tying up the set. Very efficient F2L by Timon, finishing it off with a nice ZB. And that's pressure. How will Leo handle it? Can he see something as efficient as Timon? I mean, 517, hard to beat on any scramble. And the F2L is quick. Yeah, but not quick enough. And an awful last layer case. Because Leo could not find anything on that solve, and he's been struggling ever since that timeout. He's just fallen off a cliff in terms of uh, his solving level, and he's got to hope to get it back soon because Timon is warming up. Knows that ZB a 511. Wow, wow, this is insane. Leo found a, an efficient F2L and the ZB. Can Timon find it too? Looks nice. It's not enough though. Plus the lockups and a 2 2 set. As Leo looking to win the set and win the match, Timon looking to stay in it. And Timon will start. Wow. 
And the intimidation certainly worked, as Leo could not handle the pressure at all. <laughs> Knowing he needed to beat a 516, he just couldn't find anything he thought would be competitive. And Timon takes the third set, 3-2, to two, staying in this. such an efficient F2L and was just so stunned that he couldn't do the right OLL or the right PLL in an 820. Just completely fell apart. Looks like Timon also found the F2L, but he had a ZB, so. Yup. Wow. Amazing. 427. Struggling quite a bit with some hesitations during that solve. Looked like one of those moments where he knew what to do, but something in his focus concentration was getting in the way. He was making extra random turns. Leo indecisive during inspection. Looks like he's having trouble seeing things. That can happen when you're nervous. And he can't clutch the finish. It's team on winning again. Again! He's on another level. He's on another level, folks. Taking that set three to zero and we have a tied match. And it all comes down to this. One set to decide the winner, potentially deciding the first seed. This is a huge set. Timon's been hot. Let's see if Leo can bring back the speed and Timon can maintain it. solve by Timon. Not the greatest solve, but I mean, when you don't make any major errors, like Timon mm -hmm. showed. Like, Leo's, Leo's gonna need to bring back his super speed. Oh, this is a great solve. Brilliant 489! Leo's back! I super speed on another level! It's been back and forth all match, but now it looks like both competitors are on their A game in the final set. It all comes down to this.
Bit of a nervous finish to that solve. And Timon will need to pounce. Every slight opening is going to be necessary. Efficient, but locky. Can he finish it? No, not in time! And Leo takes oh. the second solve by a hair! And Timon needs to win three in a row. Match point for Leo as Timon's back against the wall needs to be clutch on every solve. Locky cancellation, finishing the solve smoothly, but leaving a little bit of room as Leo can win the match with a 615 or better. Can he manage the nerves? Can he find the solution he needs? Can he avoid those lockups? It all comes down to this. And he's got it! Taking the final set three to zero in the match, three to two. Leo started fast. It got, got risky there in the middle, but he clutched the finish. And Leo putting himself in great position, taking this match against Leo, uh, against, wait, what did I say? Le Leo taking the match, I, brilliant, brilliant. Oh my. Bro, I messed up the second set and the third. I oh, know the third set. Yeah, man. The, the the first two sets were insane, and then like the like, I guess the camera issue, you got like slow or something. But then, clutch that finish, Jesus! All right. Um, hello. Hello. Are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Leo. Yep. Yep. All right. All right. Well, Leo, I don't think it's a stretch to say that you haven't been solving your best this season. You've been a little bit inconsistent, but today you definitely showed some incredible solving, beating Team On and uh, tying for first in the league. So, how'd you feel about your match today? I didn't know it was tied for first. <laughs> yeah, uh, I hadn't practiced like that much this week because of stuff but i channeled my nervousness because i'd be lying if i wasn't if i didn't say i was nervous i was nervous and i used it to like solve fast i mean it didn't work for the third and fourth but it worked for the rest yeah can you uh, give us a little insight on exactly how you use your nerves to solve fast what's the secret <laughs> I don't know, because, uh, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I just do it. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, so, uh, so yeah, Timon, you're, you're, you don't. Timon, you were absolutely brilliant, especially in that third and fourth set. I mean, some of those solves were your highest level, you know, full step fours. Uh, so what are you taking away from this match? Uh, yeah. I'm taking away that I need to take timeouts when I need to, and I need to like use this strategy Jason gave me, because I had a problem throughout the whole season with my hands sticking to the cube, right? And he figured out that uh, it might be that I'm using soap that makes my hands stick, and he was right. So I tried a different soap, and it worked. Um, but <laughs> I didn't wash my hands like often enough because I mean I was sweating a lot due to nervousness, so it still wasn't enough. Well, I mean, you've made a a great find. I, Seems like some uh, meta gaming going on here. I um, mean, if I can use it properly, then it's gonna be good. But 
<laughs> I mean, I've still well, lost, so it's unacceptable. Like, I mean, I... Yeah, well, I mean, you lost to some incredible times by Leo, um, but obviously not your best solving throughout the entire match. You know, you did start off a bit slower than usual. So uh, what do you think you weren't finding in the beginning that you found later? And how do you think you can fix that going forward? Well, one thing was definitely I was looking at Leo's solves when I was going second. Uh, yeah, that just wasn't good, though, because... Uh, I, I mean, the third set where I... Well, I, I had to win the set at that point. Uh, on every solve where I wasn't going second, where I was going first, I got a 5.1. And then on every other solve, I just did garbage. <laughs> So for the next set, I didn't look at Leo's solves at all, and I got a four. Yeah, you got uh, a four point two and a four point six against yeah, two like awful solves. Going, yeah, those they're, are they're Leo's going, two worst solves of the entire match. Yeah. Going yeah, second. Yeah, I, I well. stopped looking at. Yeah, I stopped looking at people's solves in like the last match against Phoenix. So you've also adopted the Maddie strategy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it seems like it's the new meta. Everyone's doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's way better. But, I mean, I was doing it against Patrick already, but I, I mean, I was really nervous today because I mean, Leo's the only person to ever beat me in Monken. It's hard not to be nervous when I'm going against him. But <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I, I just not having tested it nearly as much as the strategy of like safety and solves, I, I didn't go for it at the start. But then I, I saw it just clearly wasn't working. So. Uh, so, so what you had is an issue where you weren't comfortable enough with your new strategy. And yeah. so you fell back on what you're used to do, but since you've been switching, it was kind of confusing everything, causing too much distraction. Well, it's also just not a good strategy, what I used to do. Hmm. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, thank you both for the match. That was very entertaining. Congratulations, Leo. A great win. And um, fast solving. Uh, I'm excited to see you both in the playoffs coming up starting next weekend. Good luck.